Okay, we're going to take a look at Mark Edit's integration um, work. So I, I posted a video yesterday detailing work I've been doing um, that will be available. Um, uh, all of it will be available by the 18th. Um, same thing with the Mac. Um, this is the integration um, work, uh, particularly using Alma um, in the Mark Edit Mac version. Um, like the Windows version, the Market at Mac version uses the integration API um, in the, the framework that's in the application that uh, allows the application to leverage um, particular reuse particular components, um, which allows for easier cross-platform use. Um, it allows me to essentially provide uh, compact functionality for um, bibliographic items and holdings records as long as the APIs that the systems provide will support that um, and uh, gives kind of a baseline uh, to work with that can be integrated directly within the Mark Editor. Uh, if you, if there's a desire for expanded functionality, I'd mentioned this on the Windows uh, video, um, that's what plugins are for. Uh, plugins are a little tricky though. Um, the Mac and the Windows version do not share uh, the same UI uh, work, UI uh, models, and so um, plugin creation on a Mac is actually um, uh, fairly difficult, um, but it can be done. And so uh, in setting up the Alma and any um, system integration, the first step will be going through the integration framework. And then if there's a desire by the community to, to look a little bit more broadly at uh, functionality, then you might look at a plugin. So. Uh, I, I mentioned in the Windows video the, the process for setting this up is slightly different um, in the Mac version, uh, but the functionality is basically the same. Uh, like the Windows version, the integration framework is integrated through the preferences. Preferences have the little button there. Um, there's ILS integration. Uh, like the Windows version, um, you have the profiles. Uh, profiles are going to be Alma or Koha or local. Um, so we have our, our, our versions there. Um, we also have, um, so in this case, we pick Alma, the host name, the password is masked. Um, you can ignore or not ignore um, SSL certificate errors. Um, the z 39 50 settings, um, that always has to be checked, although that might change by the 18th. It's a, um, uh, it's a bit of a um, holdover. Uh, SRU support wasn't actually added to the Mac version until uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, and I did that partly specifically because of the Alma integration. Um, the Alma provides through their SRU client some functionality that doesn't appear to be in the Z39.50 settings. And so it made sense to uh, provide that. You can create new profiles from this window. So you can create profiles here, um, uh, or the one that I select the option um, of a currently available profile. Uh, profiles can also be created like on the Windows version through Z39.50, um, and that tends to be the way that I would um, do it generally. Um, you can select your profile or create a new profile, and so this is the profile that, that I'm using, um, and this is the same one that was used in the Windows version where it's uh, Alma's um, SRE profile. Okay, so we have our, our profiles. Um, we create, we select the profile, we create the host, no username like on the Windows version. Alma is all uh, key based, so token key based, so we put that in the password area. Um, we check uh, boxes that we need. We include the profile that we're using. Um, always first, you have to enable the ILS option, and then when you're done, you click um, OK Reply, and that will get integrated into the application. So when the, um, the Alma um, profile is configured, um, just like the Windows version, when you go to the Mark Editor, you will now find a Alma link. Um, so this is a new menu item. Um, we can run a search. We get the same kind of um, queries. Uh, we'll run the same query that we ran on the Windows version. And we do our search. Um, we get back our data. Unlike the Windows version where you get um, visual cues between um, uh, not red and red, uh, red being it's materials from the community zone, not red being things from your institution or, or um, um, zone that you might be, or other zone that you might be able to, to edit. 
Um, the Mac version, the UI doesn't quite function that way. Um, I'm trying to see if I can add some functionality to make that work, but for now, um, you're going to have to use the, the database, so the zone as a key over here to tell you um, what has been done. Uh, so we can download either the holdings or the bib record. So let's say I want to download the bib record. I select the item and download the selected records, and this is the bib record um, for that item. Uh, I can update it, so record has been changed in Mac, and then when I'm done with it, I go to update, and Mark Edit will package that record back up and send it back to Alma. Um, and so now if we go back and um, look at that record, Uh, we should see when we pull it, uh, look at it, um, this is the SRU response, um, but if we look at that record, we will see that in the 500, this is the change that we just made. Um, you'll notice that in Mark Edit, when you work with SRU, it'll display the data um, in the SRU code. Um, I find that useful personally, um, but when you download it to the Mark Editor, it obviously translates it to um, to uh, 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 mark uh, the mnemonic that Mark Edit's used to. Um, so we have our, our data. So we can do holdings records. Um, so we can go ahead and select this and download the holdings record. We're going to tell it no because I know there are holdings records on this file. And if we go back here, we can see our holdings records. Um, we can go ahead and update our holdings record here. can, if we want to, even uh, create a new holdings record by copying this and using it as a template. Um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to make a few changes here. View and edit for video, mark edit. Alright, so we edited all three of them. We changed the code here, we changed the note at the end there, and we updated here, and we go back to Alma. Update create Alma the tool recognizes um, that it's a holdings record and makes the appropriate changes. Um, we can go back into Alma and look for that value. Do the search and select it. Download the holdings records. And if we look at the values, we will see updated for the Mac, the W is there, and edited for the Mac. So we were able to update the holdings records live and, and make those changes. Um, uh, like the, uh, the Windows version, you will notice that um, Market has a batch search tool, so you can select files and update. Um, the tool just downloads the records directly into um, the, uh, the Mark editor, and it's right now for bibliographic data. Again, um, this weekend I'm trying to work this out so that uh, if you do the batch, um, when you run the search, that there'll be an option so you can select just pulling holdings records down instead. Um, but otherwise, that's uh, pretty much how it works. Um, again, uh, like the Windows version, um, the integration components um, are making use of kind of the core application parts, and the reason I do that is I can share a lot of code. Um, but uh, but yeah, so this is kind of that 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 second step of doing all the integration. Um, the bibliographic integration has been there for some time. The holdings have been added. Um, and from here, um, I'm kind of interested to see where the, uh, the ex Libris community is able to find this useful um, and workable. Um, it's been asked a couple times since I posted the video yesterday if the Mark Edit can work with other ILS systems. Um, the answer is you know, yes. Uh, the Basically, um, the requirements are the ILS system has to have APIs, and, and my personal requirements is those APIs have to be open to all customers. They can't be something that you have to buy as an add-on, because I'm not creating something essentially here in MarkEdit um, that's a, a companion to a, an add-on service to a, a system. Um, the expectation is that like Alma, like Koha, um, the API is part of the core application. Um, and so the work here is to help users who have um, that core application be able to work more efficiently and design um, workflows that work for them um, 
working with their their local system. Um, so that's that's pretty much the the only requirements there. So if you have questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, that's uh, that's how this works on the Mac.